Good day and welcome to Joburg TV News. I'm Gail Fasaki with your news updates. And in your news headlines, court orders VBS liquidation, Zuma fails to tell his side of story to Zondo Commission of Inquiry, and SABC to face unions over proposed mass staff retrenchments. The North Gauteng High Court has, ordered, uh, has granted an order to liquidate VBS Mutual Bank. This after the South African Reserve Bank's Prudential Authority applied for the final liquidation of the Mutual Bank. The bank's curators have previously identified its financial state as hopelessly insolvent and that there were no prospect of it being saved. The State Capture Commission of Inquiry has heard that former President Jacob Zuma has once again failed to give his version of events and to respond to accusations that he was involved in facilitating the capture of the state. The Commission says after reading former Public Enterprises Minister Barbara Hogan's statement implicating Zuma in August, the former President was notified and sent the document. But he still hasn't responded or offered to give his side of the story. Hogan has taken the stand at the Commission. During the Commission, Hogan told the Zondo Commission that former President Jacob Zuma lacked professionalism and often interfered in her work, including forcing her to appoint Siabonga Gama as Transnet CEO. The South African Broadcasting Corporation will come face to face with unions on Tuesday at a meeting to discuss its planned retrenchments of over 2,000 people. Based on reports, unions have made it clear they will not allow the public broadcaster to lay off 981 permanent staff and over 1,000 freelancers. SCBC management notified unions of the, its intention in September as part of attempts to stabilize its finances. But Labour claims that the public broadcaster did not allow a proper consultation process. The Communication Workers Union Clyde Mervyn said and obviously one of the issues we're going to be discussing is to make sure that we talk about avoiding of retrenchments. Broadcast Electronic Media and Allied Workers Union, Hannes Dubisson, says the union has doubts about the SABC's intentions. And that's it from the news team and I catch Kotzeika Magubeni with the next bulletin. Goodbye.